Humanity Source Database by EBSCO contains information on all types of human culture, including art, linguistics, history, and more. To get started, you want to add a keyword to the search box. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Hinduism. And just to get a little bit more specific in my searching, I'm going to add the term and Buddhism. This search found 188 results, and I can limit even further by scrolling down on my results list. In the limit to section, I can limit to just a certain publication date range. So maybe if you want the latest information on a topic, you can limit to the past five years. Also in the source type section, I can limit to academic journals, magazines, which are denoted by the periodical symbol, and the books in here are not full books, they're book excerpts. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these articles by clicking on the title. The full text options for these articles are HTML and PDF. PDF full text, when available, is typically the better version to read because it's a scan of the original article, which means it'll have any images, graphs, charts that the original article had. The title of the article and the authors are also listed on the screen. The source section has where the work was originally published, including the date, and because this is an academic journal article, the volume and issue number. Also, many articles will have an abstract, which is basically a summary of the article. So you'll want to review this to make sure that this article is relevant to your search. Like many databases, Humanities Source has a built-in site tool. When I click on that, it opens up a brand new window, and you can scroll down to see the different citation styles, including APA, Chicago, and MLA. Now the citations here are not perfect, they are computer generated, but this is a good place to get started with your works cited or reference list page. Finally, another important tool here is the email option. When you click on email, you want to add any email address that you prefer. You can then add a subject line, some comments to help you remember about the article, and make sure before you send it that you select a citation format. So I'm going to select APA for mine, and then go ahead and click on send. You'll receive a confirmation. If you don't see it in your email, make sure to check your junk or spam folder. This concludes the tutorial for Humanity Source Database.